Welcome to the tutorial templates. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create, delete, and edit templates. So in this scene, we have two elements. We have a character and we have a background. And each of these elements are further divided into smaller items. So for example, the rabbit is divided into its foot, its forearm, its you know pupil, things like that. Um, and it already has a keyed um, and timed animation that's set within it. And if you uncollapse any of the pegs to any of its body parts, you can see um, all the keying that exists for the different transformations. The background, on the other hand, also has multiple layers that can be turned on and off, such as this, but these are just drawings all the way across. They are not individually attached to pegs and they have no timing or keying attached to them. So you can create templates in two ways. You can create them from the timeline view or from the network view. Templates created in the timeline view are often done because they do have this kind of keyed and animated sequence, which is great and efficient because then you can reuse the same sequence again and again without having to redo the work. So sequences like this, such as walk cycles or run cycles, where there is an action or motion involved, are referred to as action templates. So to create a template from the timeline, you simply need to go to the library view first and make sure that the library in which you'd like to drop one of the templates is unlocked and that you're able to modify it. So I'm going to select my library, right click on it, and select the menu item right to modify. Then I'm going to uncollapse this library and decide which folder I'd like to put my template in. And in this case, it's the characters folder. Then you simply need to select the layer of the template that you'd like to create on the left side of the timeline. Then click and drag it and drop it in the characters folder. Then you have an opportunity to rename your template. And I'm going to call it Karate Rabbit cartwheel and say OK. But that's not the only way that you can create a template from the timeline. You can also create a template of just um, a certain number of keyframes or cells um, or just one keyframe or cell which is known as a key pose. So say I only wanted an action template from let's say cell 20 to cell 42, so just this little jump here. We we'll simply need to click on frame 20, hold down the shift key, and then select frame 42, then click and drag that entire sequence into the characters folder. Once again, I have the opportunity to rename my template. And I'm going to call it Karate Rabbit Jump this time, and say OK. And let's try it one more time for just a key pose. So say I like just this pose here of the character uh, getting down and, you know, anticipating the jump. All I have to do is click on this single keyframe and then drag it once again to the characters folder. And this time I'm going to rename it Karate Rabbit Crouched Stance and then underscore KP for key pose and say OK. So now I have three new templates in my character folder of my library and that's the Karate Rabbit Cartwheel which is this entire full sequence um, from 1 to frame 60. I have the Karate Rabbit Jump which is just frames 20 to 42 and then I have just the crouch stance key pose which is just frame 23 and once again I was able to copy and paste all of the keyframes for all of these action sequences because I selected the keyframes from the top so from the karate rabbit peg with the entire peg collapsed and as a result it copies and pastes any of the subsequent keyframes below it So now let's talk about creating templates in the network view. 
Um, it can be argued that this is the best way of creating a template because you keep all the connections. You keep all the effects, the composites, the modules, the pegs, the function columns, the scene length, the timing, etc. if you create a template using the network view. Um, if you have never used the network view and you never saw it and you created everything in the timeline, then it probably doesn't matter um, because you didn't make any of your connections there. But um, if you're working a lot with the network view, I would definitely suggest creating your template from here. Um, if you're using Animate and Animate Pro, you don't have the option of using the network view, so you might want to just ignore this uh, next part. Um, and also just to give you another reference, uh, the last two videos for both Animate and Animate Pro in the rigging video series also deals a lot with templates, both in Network View and in the timeline, more specifically with characters and how to create masters, fulls for all the different views, um, key poses, how to use certain parts of the characters' templates such as heads and then being able to drag and drop them um, into the timeline. Um, all of that great stuff can be found in those videos, so I'm also just going to make a quick plug for those videos. Anyway, so getting back to the, the network view, I'm just going to um, maximize it by using Command or Control F, so it takes up the full screen. So the way that you would create a template um, would first be to group the modules that you would like to make a template of. So in this case, it's the background. And the background, like I said, has many different layers or many, many different elements, so we need to group those. So I'm just going to drag a box around them and then use the keyboard shortcut Command-G on Mac or Control-G on Windows. So I now have my group. I'm just going to zoom in. If I click on this little yellow box, I have the opportunity to rename my group. But Asian background and say close so it's been renamed and if we're just going to go into the group for a second to show you what it looks like so we have here a multi port in which if we go back to the top is this little green port out so we can have to attach a peg or whatnot or connect it to the rest of the uh, the scene with that um, we have a multi port out which leads to all of these portals being able to come out, all of these wires being able to come out and be attached to a composite. So it's important we have that as well. And then we have all of our drawing elements attached to a single peg. Um, and that's just because if we need to pan or whatever, we can key on that peg, but they don't necessarily need um, individual pegs unless you plan to make some type of motion with these objects. So I'm going to exit out again, and then I'm going to go back to the full view. So this time, actually, let me create a new folder in the library for backgrounds. And rename it. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this module, which is the group um, Asian background, and instead of dragging it and dropping it into the folder, what you actually have to do is copy it. So, Command or Control C, and then make sure that you have this background selected or over here in its right side view, and then use Command or Control V to paste it. And then you can rename your template once again. We'll name it Asian background. Or maybe just BG, it's easier to look at. Say something like that. So the thumbnail looks a little bit messed up, but it, I assure you it's fine. Um, so let's try dragging and dropping it in. And if you've noticed here in the timeline, a group was automatically created because I created a group in the network view, and you can collapse that group um, as well. And it, it has a very similar structure, so group, peg, and all of the drawing elements connected to that peg. So I'm actually going to delete this. And then you can see that it's actually gone um, from the network view. And then if I take this template, I can actually drag and drop it in the left side of the timeline view. Actually, I should put it under the Karate Rabbit. And you can see it looks exactly the same. It has all the same layers, it has the same structure, the group, the peg, the drawing elements. And in fact, it's hooked back um, on the right side because that's behind 
uh, in the network view, all these things that are hooked in front, which belong to the Quarry Rabbit, would appear in the front because they're hooked to the left side. Um, and you can do what we normally do of selecting all and then using um, one of these two buttons to reorder them so that it looks a little bit neater. Actually, there's one thing that I forgot to tell you. I stressed very much creating um, your template in the network view, but then I dropped the template in the timeline view, and there's a reason for this. I'm actually going to collapse the Asian background and delete it one more time. And this time I'm going to drop it in the network view. Might be a little bit difficult to see. And maybe you can see here why. So when I dropped it into the left side of the timeline view, all of these ports were automatically hooked into the composite. Whereas if you drop the template directly into the network view, they expect you to hook them all up yourself. And each of these ports is one layer in the background. So the cherry blossoms, the pagodas, uh, the backgrounds, the mountain, etc. So that's one reason, um, and that's a very good reason, to drop the template in the left side of the timeline view. So the last two things I'd like to show you is how to delete a template and how to edit a template. So to delete a template is quite easy. Um, you can actually just select it and hit the delete button. Um, you can actually undo that as long as you haven't closed your scene yet. So up until the point that you close your scene, you're always able to bring that back. You can also select the template in the right side of the library and right click on it and use um, the menu item delete. And undo that as well. So that's pretty easy. The second thing I wanna show you is how to edit a template. So you would select your template, actually let's use a character one, it's a good example, the cartwheel, um, and then right click on it and select edit template. And then what essentially just happened is that your entire Karate Rabbit sequence was brought in to um, a new scene or is actually, actually templates in themselves are a little scene, so this is the template, the Karate Rabbit cartwheel template scene. Um, so when you're dragging and dropping a template, you're essentially dropping a tiny scene into your timeline view. And from here, you can make all sorts of adjustments to your template and they will be saved in the library. However, they will not be updated throughout your scene. So if you drag and drop a template somewhere in your scene, edit this template, you would have to drag and drop it again into your scene and delete the old version of the template. See what's going on here with the pupils. Hmm. Oh, they're there. That's interesting. Uh, it looks like they just need to be brought to the front because they're farther behind. Not really sure why that happened. So they have to be brought probably in front of the head, I imagine. So that's a good edit to make. And there we go. We can see the uh, pupils again, which is less spooky, I guess you could say. Um, so whatever changes you make, so say this reordering that I've done, you can then save it. And then you can exit this template scene by closing it. And then you're brought back to the scene that you started from. So that's it for the tutorial templates. Stay tuned for the tutorial importing symbols and templates.